you know, as we uh, are really getting ready for fall, I thought that we should um, look at some nice wool fabrics. I kind of like this blue right here. And then with this, we could also do um, a gray cashmere elbow patch to give it kind of a different look. Um, nice little luxury touch. Yeah, that'd be great, actually. That'd be nice. And then some nice mother of pearl buttons. Excellent. Okay. And then with that, I would stick to the solids. So I've pulled aside just, you know, you always need a nice white shirt. So a white, or I think a gray shirt with this could work. Yeah, I like that. Great, so we'll take some measurements. Let's do it. And then I'm into it. All right. Hey Ryan, you came over um, to work at Windsor Custom. You had previous experience at Ralph Lauren. How did you end up um, working with Brian? Or... Um, well, Brian and I have been friends since college. You know, Brian has always had this passion with getting his own custom stuff and when he had told me he wanted to start the company and have me run it for him I you know definitely said yes right away. JD how did you um, find out about Windsor Custom? Well I come here on Sundays to watch football and uh, I was approached by Brian Mazza about his uh, new you know menswear tailoring custom place and uh, it was a no-brainer for me you know you get to come down here play pool watch sports and uh, get some shirts designed at the same time. Brian, you um, have made a name for yourself doing restaurants and nightlife. You have the Ainsworth, which is upstairs. You have the Fulton. You just opened the Southampton Social Club. How did you get into menswear? I've always uh, loved menswear. It was always a cool aspect. And I really felt, you know, all of our venues and going out in New York City, nightlife, and, you know, men dressing well go hand in hand together. So I just felt like it was a good collaboration to come together with Page Management and Matt Schindel and create Windsor Custom. Does having the bar upstairs uh, bring a lot of clientele here? Well, it's, it's very good because we have all of our clients hovering above us all the time. A lot of guys in suits, a lot of finance guys, a lot of guys in entertainment. So we have the ability to bring them down here and show them this unique space. And, you know, they immediately fall in love with it because it's something exclusive. And, you know, they're upstairs and they're entertaining their clients and then they can bring them down here and then they can entertain that way as well. What's the price range of a suit from lowest to highest? So you can get a suit for around eight fifty, and then you can go up to over three thousand. So you know it depends on the type of fabric, you know um, the lining, certain aspects you want to put, different characters, characteristics you want to put on each suit. And you do shirting as well. Sh right? Shirting as well, yes. So the shirts start at one fifty eight, and they can go up to over five hundred dollars. And do you think that bespoke suiting is just kind of like blowing up at this point? I mean, there's a lot of people doing bespoke everything really, but especially bespoke suiting. Yeah, I feel for years a lot of guys got burned shopping at department stores or other stores and buying off the rack because they were spending a lot of money and then getting a product that wasn't really fitting them that well. So, you know, like Windsor Custom, we're super affordable and, you know, guys can come in here that are just graduating school or big hedge fund guys and you know they can get a product that's made to measure for them and it's affordable. What are the big trends you're seeing in menswear and also what are what are people coming to you for? Well recently we've been seeing a lot of guys getting double-breasted jackets. Um, that's you know super trendy now if you've seen all the magazines that's the big thing that they're focusing on. The two button is still super strong and you know the silhouette is getting skinnier and skinnier which is great and I always love the nice fitted suit and I think you know, seeing a guy in a nice fitted suit going to work or going on an interview, it, it really, you know, shows his confidence and shows that he knows how, how to dress. And I think it's great. I think menswear needs, you know, it's becoming a lot more trendy and it's becoming a lot more cool. And, you know, I think all these shops that are opening up is really cool because menswear needed that. 